on a rainy night here in Southern California. Welcome everybody back to the Figure Kit Garage. I'm Brent Krug and I've got another out of the box review coming for you. The kit that you see on the table is a follow up to the review I did three weeks ago of Carl the Journalist, which was produced by David Horvath of Nostalgic, Nostalgic Resin Productions. This kit actually preceded that release. This is the INS Reporter. This is a six-piece 3D printed resin kit in one-eighth scale. And this was a giveaway on episode 91 of Model Club TV, which was a live stream on YouTube. And I want to say uh, thank you to both David Horvath and Jason Walker. Um, for the giveaway prize and Jason for getting this shipped to me as fast as he did. Uh, this arrived a week ago, uh, Saturday, uh, April the 6th, as I was in the middle of watching night one of WrestleMania 40. So, needless to say, it was a uh, night full of surprises in more ways than one. Uh, for you wrestling fans, you know what I'm referring to but this is a really amazing kit it's one eighth scale it's seven inches tall the base is six inches in diameter and it's a really this is the first tribute to uh the character the character that darren mcgavin made famous in the tv series kolchak the night stalker and apart from the kit itself I got several other goodies that came with it, um, and we'll look at those after we take a closer look at the kit. You also get a set of decals that go with this kit, and I'll show you those and how they are supposed to work out with it. But for the figure itself, and it, the head is separate from the neck, so yeah, there's going to be a seam line that will have to be taken care of. But for those of us experienced enough with these types of kits, that should not be any kind of a major bump. But it portrays Mr. Kolchak at the end of the episode titled The Werewolf, in which he goes on a cruise ship that apparently a werewolf has also booked passage. But this portrays Carl at the end of the episode on the dock with his luggage speaking into his trusty cassette tape recorder and for those of you who are new to this hobby who are much younger yes we had cassette tape recorders back in the day that you spoke into they were all over the place but really wonderful detail the print quality is absolutely amazing from what I've seen so far, there is no cleanup. Maybe a few minor bumps on the edge of the coat and the bottom of the pants. And I'll have to plug that hole up, but that won't be a really big deal. But really, really beautiful detail work. The suit is textured just like the suit he wore in the in this television series. And to see this is this is an absolutely phenomenal kit for its size. And the hair detail as well, just beautifully rendered. And Carl with that ever so serious squint, as he always has when he's recording. And the hat detail. I mean, you can see the straw texture in that hat. For a kid of this size, that's incredibly impressive. As well across the top. Very well-worn and well-loved hat. Right down to the shoelaces. There we go. And his low-cut socks. Just impressive all the way around. Really, really nice. Now the base itself... Is comprised of three pieces of his luggage and a, a cobblestone textured base. A 
you know, really well detailed, very lightweight. Little sanding on the sides of the bags, but no big deal. Comes with the territory of a 3D printed resin kit. You know, really excellent all the way around. Really well thought out in display wise. I don't think you could do this any better. You know, unless he was standing up somehow. But just to have him sitting on his bags the way that he is, it looks amazing. And he'll sit just like that. A little bit off. Might have to do a little bit of sanding where that uh, peg is just to get him to fit in the spots on the base for his feet. But it won't take very much. The optional rum bottle that comes with it. And there is a decal for this. You know, very well printed, well thought out. You can put these anywhere you want on the base. Now, this is one that, for anybody that has this kit or is going thinking about buying this kit, this is a piece you want to handle with kid gloves. Look how thin... This Chinese takeout food box was printed. You can see the little folds on the side of that box like they are in real life. Look how thin that is. You know, you just squeeze this and you'll snap it without even trying. The little vent holes on the bottom during the printing process. But <laughs> really nicely thought out. And then the decal sheet that I spoke of, consisting of the Royal Amber, Trader, Trader Vic's Royal Amber Rum uh, bottle, bottle uh, sticker. All the various luggage tags and stickers that can be used. And then the Li Ho Fook Chinese takeout menu. Now, the Trader Vic's rum and the Li Ho Fook menu uh, are taken, uh, are inspired by the lyrics of the song Werewolves of London by Warren Zevin. So they, uh, they put those in there as a tri tribute to uh, 70s nostalgia, and I think it's a great addition to it. And then we have the HMS Queen Mary, Port of Long Beach, California. Uh, decal as well it can be used but that's a really nice addition to this adds a lot more character than just having a uh, plain baggage and you know a rum bottle you know you got that logo that can go on there as well as having a Chinese takeout menu just laying on the ground along with uh, the takeout box but really well thought out definitely make sure that if you uh Want to put those luggage tags on there? Definitely gloss up where you're going to uh, apply them because they will not go on flat paint. And then the Cold Shack, the Night Stalker nameplate that comes with the kit can be pretty much placed anywhere along the edge, right there in front. Just like that. Really good looking piece. And one of the other uh, extras that came with the kit, and I had to uh, find out who did this, but this was included, this wonderful hand-drawn print. And this was done by Erin Horvath. This is David's daughter. She is a budding comic artist. And really, really well done. Nice addition. Way to go, Aaron. You did a great job. Keep it up. Don't stop drawing. Ever. Don't give it. If you're, this is your dream, don't give it up. But really, really nice. Great addition to the, uh, to the kit. And as well, he included some extras that don't involve Mr. Kolchak. He also does 3D printed nameplates to accompany any model kits that may have them that 
could possibly look better like this one. This is from the Bela Lugosi Universal Dracula film. And, you know, beautiful nameplate with all that artwork on there. Really, really nice. And then he included a an art tile excuse me, that is exclusive to the kit of Mr. Kolchak in a kind of reverse relief. But you can see that Carl is well represented. You know, really, really nice. This kit doesn't require anything but the head to be assembled and him to be glued to the luggage. And that's pretty much it. Very simple build. Good puttying skills would be needed to hide that seam in the neckline. But with a little practice, and practice does make perfect in this hobby, you can hide that without any effort. You know, really, just really, really nice. That cassette recorder he's holding, God, that... I'm really starting to feel old looking at something like that. <laughs> but this kit uh, is $90 shipped uh, in the U.S. Um, they are printed to order. So when you, he does not have them available on hand. So when you order one from David, he will print it up as it's ordered as they come in. So please be patient with the printing process. It is not a one-hour photo type job. It takes a lot longer than that to print one of these up. These can take several hours and longer just to get them done. You have to account for print failures on occasion. I apologize for my neighbors gunning the motor outside. There is a party two doors down. He is also, <coughs> excuse me, he is also taking orders, reservations for this kit to be picked up at the upcoming Wonderfest convention in June. So, if you have the capability of making it to Wonderfest and this is a kit that you're interested in, contact David and I will leave his contact information through Nostalgic Resin Productions Facebook page. Let him know if you're interested in one. If you're going to Wonderfest, you can arrange to pick it up there, or you can just have it shipped to you beforehand. But make sure you let him know that you saw this kit here. Let him know this is something you want. And if you get the chance, I haven't been to a Wonderfest. I do plan on going after we get moved to Kentucky. But if you're going, enjoy yourself and go pick up a Carl Kolchak kit. They're well worth it. On the heels of that, again, I want to say thank you to Jason Walker and Scott Johansson at Model Club TV for providing this kit as a giveaway, as well as David Horvath for providing the kit in and of itself. As well, I want to thank all of the newest subscribers to the Figure Kit Garage. Uh, we're at 956 and still climbing. Not that far away from 1,000. And I'm going to have to get creative. If I do decide, decide to do a giveaway, I'm going to have to get creative of what I'm going to get away. Giveaway, excuse me. So, check out Model Club TV. Check out Nostalgia Resin Productions on Facebook. Check out Monster Model Review on YouTube. Rob Madison's channel. Great channel all the way around. Let's keep this hobby going. Let's keep this YouTube community growing. So for this review of the INS Reporter 3D printed resin kit produced by David Horvath at Nostalgic Resin Productions, this has been the Figure Kit Garage. Everybody stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe. Build a kit.